there's not one inch of land in the United States that was not indigenous land at one time. Our people developed relationships with Mother Earth. You know, it's, it's a loving, caring relationship. One where we take care of Mother Earth and Mother Earth takes care of us. Because of these concerns about global climate change, I think there's more resonance now than there was in the past about thinking ahead over the next 100 years or the next 200 years. For tribes, they've always had to think that way. You know, they've, they've been here for hundreds of generations and they know that their children's children's children are going to be living on this land and so they need to take care of it so that it'll be here for them. We're standing at a place uh, called Mount Amunam, which is in the, uh, the eastern flanks of the uh, Santa Cruz Mountains. Uh, we learned that Amunam, which means the resting place in the hummingbird, was sacred to the Ohlone peoples. And so what I asked staff to do was, well, tell me more. And they said, well, they, uh, their creation uh, beliefs are that they were, were created at the mountain. And I said, well, then they should be part of the conversation. Mount Amunam has always been a sacred mountain because it, it is the place of our creation. Um, it's the places that we're closest to their creator when we come here. Our job really here is to acquire the land, it's to uh, protect it and uh, to, uh, to manage it and restore it where we can and then to provide access for, for people in a way that, that maintains the land. And so that's what the relationship with Midpen allows us to do. And, and Midpen was at a place now where they're turning their focus to stewardship, so it is perfect timing with them. And when he explained that this is the first time they'd been to the mountain in 200 years, this is early re return home, it, I think to all the staff, there's a, really a sense of purpose, a sense of history, a sense of we've got to get this done and we've got to do it the right way. What struck us was the commonality, the reverence for the wildlife, the reverence for the plants, and those are things that everyone in our district, they're here to take care of. You know, that's our kind of gift to the future. And so it was sort of that spirit that we came together with the Amamutsun and have been planning ever since. And they've been involved in all aspects of, of what we're doing here on the mountain. And it's important that that partnership goes on in, in perpetuity. Our ancestors were given the responsibility to take care of these lands by Creator. And that's just not the Amamutsun perspective. Most, if not all, Native American tribes have that same obligation, that same responsibility, and the same history of having 10, 12, 14,000 years or more of, um, of experience, of practice, of, of learning how to do that. And so we need to work with them to have them restore their knowledge so they can go back and take care of Mother Earth and they're within their tribal territories. That is the only way that we're going to restore and save Mother Earth.